Back to the cringe. Yes, you hear me right. Back to the cringe. Cringe is something that I've unfortunately become all too familiar with. I react to it. Some people say that I am. It hurts. Regardless, I don't like cringe. Cringe is bad. But what happens when cringe collides with cringe? It's like the unbreakable spear and the indestructible shield. And we unfortunately got a taste of it on the YouTube platform and it was not pretty to see. And I'm of course talking about the incident that some of you might have heard of, some of you might have not. The beef between probably the two cringiest people on the platform right now, Jack Doherty and Neon. Yes, you hear me right. They collided. It happened. It was not pretty. So for to preference, Jack Doherty and Neon are probably the most insufferable people online. Reason being is because they spend the majority of their career, or I, I say career, they spend the majority of their career just harassing people and, and you know, for the pursuit and sake of entertainment. And of course, some people like it. I can only guess that you like it because you're 12 or in middle school. And some people watch it because they have a fascination with cringe. It's it's something that they can't get rid of. It's like masochism for the mind. But regardless, both skinny, both very, very hated online. And recently, they decided to have some beef. The reason for the beef I don't think is really necessary. I think it's because they both dated the same person and then they all got kind of upset about it or Jack got upset about it because Neon, Neon got like back together with her. I don't know, it doesn't matter. And essentially what happened, and there's a couple clips out there. I'm not gonna show up because I don't think it's safe for YouTube. I'm, I'm gonna keep the, the safe option. If you wanna look it up, you can. But essentially, Jack, Doherty, and Neon, they were at this event. I think it was like a UFC or a boxing event. There was a big ring in the middle. But regardless, they were both there at that event. Both of them. And the tension in the building was rising. While there were fights in the middle of the ring, there was another fight that was brewing, and it was outside. And it was bad. And it was filled with mental pain. So the first clip was Neon figuring out that Jack Doherty was in the crowd. And upon Neon spotting Jack Doherty, he decided to do what he does best go up and try to confront him. And it ended about as well as you might think. And I have to give credit, this was the first time that I actually saw Jack Doherty do anything. Usually, he gets his goons to try and defend him for him, because that's just what he does. He spends most of his time on YouTube trying to pick fights with people, and then once those people are, you know, actually down to tussle, then he gets his big bodyguards to come and fight for him. Because, you know, he's, he's, a, he's a little, uh... Little bastard. He's like the Queen of Hearts in Alice in Wonderland. But regardless, Neon went to go confront Jack Doherty, there were words, and then there were hands. To call them fists is, it's, um, <clears throat> well, I think that'd be a lie. Neither of them looked like they've had any source of protein in their life. Why would they? They've got bodyguards. But regardless, there was that, it was in the middle of the audience, which was pretty embarrassing, and then they just went off in their separate ways. Fast forward a little bit later, Neon is walking away in uh, like some hallway or somewhere outside, and then Jack Doherty saw this chance, this, this golden opportunity. He wanted to get revenge. How dare he? How dare he be insulted by, by Neon of all people? He is, he is a thousand times better than Neon. He is morally superior, and what did he decide to do? He decided to try and jump Neon. Now to say that the jumping was a jumping would be, again, not exactly truthful, and frankly, just a straight-up lie. The most that happened was that shirts were torn. That's it. And then, and, the, and then Jack Doherty, upon finding out that he was unsuccessful in his jumping, then just decided to sit down, crisscross applesauce, hands in his lap. And it just, it was so painful to watch. Now, there are some people who are saying the entire thing was fake. It might be. But regardless, it's still kind of an issue because this entire altercation happened out in public. So not only were they doing their, for the sake of argument, let's say that it's fake, which I'm leaning towards not, because they are just that childish, so I think that they would actually cause beef like that. But regardless, assuming that it, it was fake, it's still just incredibly inconsiderate because this was in the middle of an event, you know, a giant fighting event. So while people paid money to go to this location to sit down and watch a fight, they have to deal with these two goons trying to trying to do their own little YouTube videos. Now, as I said, I really don't think it's fake, which I think makes it worse because it's just a, it's just incredibly cringy. You have beef with somebody because, oh, he took my girlfriend. Ah, and then decide to confront them in the middle of a stadium filled with people who are just trying to enjoy what they're gonna watch. And you decided to do it. Why? Why would you do that? Despite how cringy it is, I think it was a very, very good 
case study. What happens when two equal forces of cringe collide? Because they both do the same exact thing. They both try to start crap, and then they have their bodyguards try to intercept and try to fix stuff. Neon's a little bit different because his bodyguards are actually get sick of him, so, you know, props, props. Props. And he did try, I, I guess I, get, I should give him some kind of praise, I guess. He did try to get into a ring with a boxer to try to prove his strength, which, as you can imagine, did not last that long, and he tapped out pretty, pretty quickly. But regardless, he still does the thing, he tries to start crap, and he tries to get his bodyguards to fix it, and, you know, fight for him. Jack Doherty, I think, does it to a much more severe degree, because he's actively looking for drama and looking for people for his bodyguard to beat up. It happened at Corinna Comps, I uh, hope I'm saying the last name right, I apologize if I'm not. But it was an incident that happened, I want to say, like, a year ago, where he was going to this Halloween party, which he wasn't invited to, by the way. He was not invited to this Halloween party, and then he was getting told off by Corinna and other people there at the party. One person tried to confront Jack, and the bodyguard punched him. So Jack Doherty instigated an entire thing, and then got his bodyguards to fight for him. And that's why I think, and I thought I'd never say this, that Neon just has a little bit more morality, I guess, I don't know. Because I've seen Neon fight, it's not pretty. I've seen Jack Doherty fight, I guess, if you want to call that entire altercation a fight, but the majority of the time, he just relies on his bodyguards to do everything for him. Which is a damn shame. It looks like his body developed, but his face didn't. He still got that baby fat on his face. He looks like the Stay Puff Marshmallow Man. He looks like the Michelin Man. And Neon just looks like a plastic straw. He looks like the toothpick that you pick up once you start leaving the steakhouse. Which is ironic, because I don't think he's ever had a steak in his life. Regardless, it was just an incredibly upsetting thing to watch because of just how embarrassing it was. Mark my words, right here, right now. There will come a time when both of them step up to the wrong person and will be in such a major mess up degree that not even their bodyguards will be able to save them. It's gonna happen one day, and it might happen sooner rather than later. It already kind of happened, and I think this is, I think this is why Neon got the bodyguards, because there's a video out there where Neon got jumped, and then he got his shoes stolen, and then he got, like, films like, Haha, I got your shoe. Eventually, something like that's gonna happen to Jack, and we'll all laugh, he'll probably cry, he'll probably be bottle-fed by his bodyguard, and getting burps and stuff like that. And bear in mind, I wish no harm to them. I hope they change their ways. They're not gonna. I just wish that they stopped doing this stuff because it's it's just so painful to watch. And it's not even criticizing content because you just end up being a nuisance to the public. You become a menace. And not like Spider-Man menace, you're, you're just annoying a menace. Like guys in New York selling their records in the middle of New York streets kind of menace. But regardless, we'll just have to wait and see what happens with both of them. But in the end, let's just remember that this video exists and then just very, very quickly forget it because it's just so painful to watch. But that's it for me today. Thank you so much for watching, if indeed you still are. My name is Broxter, and I bid you all adieu. <sighs> Jack Doherty, Neon, suck. It's so painful.